Now, for my last video of the day, we're going to do a book review and a bit more science fiction. I'm also going to go back to a, the subject of AI with this. As just for a laugh, I asked the wonderful world of Bing to start doing a review of this book for me and summarise the main themes in it. As you'll see, <laughs> it did a rather over-enthusiastic little review here. Certainly, Trouble on Triton, an ambiguous heterotopia by Samuel R. Delaney is a captivating science fiction novel that takes readers on an exhilarating journey through a utopian society at odds with their own Earth. Now, you'll see the problem with that, with that summary when I get back to reviewing the book in a minute, and you'll see why if you'd use that to write about the book, you would be in big doo-doo. Originally published as Triton, this 1967... SF novel delves into thought-provoking themes, including gender roles, sexual expectations, and societal government. It's on firmer ground there. Plot summary. In the distant future, we follow the adventures of Bron Hellstrom, an immigrant to the embattled world of Triton. It's on firmer ground there. As the troubles on Triton escalate, Bron's life becomes increasingly complex. Eventually, he faces a pivotal decision to become a woman. Yes, it's a book that would it's going to cause people who don't like trans issues to dance up and down on and run around the room a bit. <laughs> a lot of Samuel R. Delaney's uh, novels would probably do that. Against the backdrop of High Adventure, the novel dances from the furthest reaches of the solar system to Earth's own outer Mongolia. Characters reveal unexpected layers, challenging assumptions about identity and reality, gender fluidity, key themes. Delaney masterfully questions traditional gender norms and expectations. Bronze transformation highlights the malleability of identity, as he does in many novels. I don't regard suggest reading Delaney unless you can put up with that sort of stuff. I have a fairly broad mind for it, or, or, if, or if you're easily wound up, you won't get on with it. Social critique, the novel critiques our own society, but contrasting it with Triton's Utopian's ideals. Um, and yet again, the word utopian, <sighs> obviously, uh, Bing is about as intelligent as you can expect from a learning algorithm. Notice the title of the book, An Ambiguous Heterotopia. Delaney nicked that idea off this um, this bloke that people love to have a grumble about, or also the lionize him, Mr. Michael Foucault. And... It means a place of differences, and it's ambiguous. It's not exactly a utopia. There's plenty of violence and horrible stuff in this book, and there's plenty of horribly nasty stuff and plenty of decent things on Triton. It's a well worth book reading, but one of the bits I thought that was most amusing, considering it was written in 1976, was this. Twelve years ago, some public channel had made a great stir because the government had an average 10 hours videotaped and otherwise recorded on every citizen with a set of government credit tokens and a government identity card. Eleven years ago, another public channel had pointed out that 99.999 and several nines present more of this information was never reviewed by human eyes. It was taken, developed and catalogued by machines. <laughs> B was of a perfectly innocuous nature, and C could quite easily be released to the public without the least threat to government security. Ten years ago, a statute was passed that any citizen had the right to demand a review of all government information on him or her. Some other public channel had made a stir about getting the government simply to collect, stop collecting such information. But the systems, once began, insinuate themselves to the greater systems in overdetermined ways. Jobs depended on them. Space had been set aside for them. Research was going on over how to do them more efficiently. Such over German systems, hard enough to revise, are even harder to abolish. Eight years ago, someone whose name never got mentioned came up with the idea of ego booster boots to offer minor credit and hopefully some slightly more just psychological support to the government information retention program. You can really imagine someone calling something that in reality, to be quite frank as well. Um... Put a two franc token into the slot. It used to be half a franc, but the tokens have been devalued again year back. 1976 doesn't seem very far from our world today, does it? 
Feed your government identity card into a slip and see on the 30 by 40 centimeter screen three minutes videotape of you, accompanied by three minutes of your recorder's speech selected at random from the government's own information file. <laughs> it's a fascinating book and it's as bizarre as all of Delaney's books, especially when you get. I'll have to turn the book to show this. Delaney's usage of mathematics. That equation on the page is a harmonic C series. And Delaney, who has a fascination with maths, chucks stuff like this in regularly. I actually had to get someone to look at that and tell me what the heck was going on because my mathematical ability is about equal to a small chicken's. And that's a small chicken that isn't very good at maths. Um, I've had to do that several times with Delaney's work, in fact. Um, I thought he... His concerns about how far the state can or should interfere in public life, weird sort of strange sex springing up, weird sort of social movements that influence gender transformation are all still very relevant. It's not a very well-known science fiction book. Delaney is a bit of a sort of um, cult figure. He's more of an... Imp He's the kind of writer people talk about more than read, which I think is quite sad as he's, he's well worth a read, but he is a difficult read at times, I'd have to admit. He writes in a, a particular style that can be a bit fractured at times and you may have to kind of stop and think about what he's doing to keep absorbing him, but well worth a read.